Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Let's Play Imperion on 1.5 where we're dropping our old Let's Play, which we'll call this one Dilbert, um, and we're going to start afresh on 1.5 because we can't take everything across, but we're going to go with a bit of a mix up and we're going to take this more difficult start. Uh, we're going to customize. This has got most of our custom settings still, which is all good because I programmed these in earlier. So that's all good. As you can see, medium, nothing, normal, slow degradation because I don't like degradation, rich but few deposits, no water miner depletion, medium enemies, drone presence and drone attack are high. I might regret this because structure speeds on fast and massive volume massive volume check and CPU are on so with that we will literally get right into it now this planet is a lot harder than a standard planet and I see there is a drone up ahead straight away which again is probably gonna lead us to our demise so we're gonna head away from the drone a bit and hope we can uh, managed to avoid getting shot straight away because getting shot straight away will be an extremely bad plan um, as I said we'll be dropping the old let's play but I had recorded some in advance because I had been traveling so that will actually continue for the next uh, couple of weeks on a Sunday um, and these will go up on the Saturday so we will get a bit of double Imperion for a couple of weeks and here we go we're down now there is nothing in the escape pod now and as you can see from my inventory all the bits are in there the patch notes did say they'd be scattered around on the floor but apparently not oh my god look at the radiation um, I'm in an irradiated zone great stuff let's start off by going in here and seeing if there's anything worth grabbing. Oh, cool, a bike. Oh, lots of good stuff. Oh my god, that's that's an excellent start. That was fantastic, which is really good, because I was very paranoid I was going to die horribly now, as I just saw how much radiation we were picking up straight away. There's also some cobalt there. Oh, I need to put these on my bar, which... And there we go, let's put those there, bandages there, let's use the bandage <sighs> to get things going, let's also see if we can, we could probably make one of these couldn't we, we've got three iron ore so that was dead lucky, let's see if we can just go up in here where the radiation is less, yeah and see if we can, can we unlock that yet, no we have no points, <laughs> great. So we have the bike. Is is that bike usable or is that a kit? That's a construction kit. So I need the constructor to make that into a bike because that could have been hugely useful and a real boon to us to start off. But as is, this has now changed. There is a defense mode, but the resource mode will now cut down trees as well. So you don't have to use the defense mode for that. And hopefully this picks up rocks straight away now. So that's good. Um, I did like the look of there was another piece of wreckage over there but I really think I'm probably going to avoid it because of the bad guys. Um, the other thing I probably need to do is reload my weapon. Thank you. Um, and I am expecting badness because generally on this planet I have played a couple of times before on this planet and badness does generally ensue fairly quickly. So, we need to be a bit more careful. Now, there is no tutorial on this planet, so we'll be skipping all the tutorial stuff. But we will go straight to solo missions, and we will kick off the prelude. And it says, Commander, I'm tracking a fake communication signal. Um, signal in a wreckage, sorry, nearby. There seems to be a damaged comm station nearby. I've added a marker on your screen and the marker is directly towards the drone. So screw that for the time being. Um, because in all honesty, I need a better gun to take on a drone. I could really do with an assault rifle. 
because the range on this is 39 meters. Most drones will be out of that in terms of height and the range on the defense of this is also awful. So we would probably be really stuck trying to take down a drone with that. At least we're up to level two. So we can now build the portable constructor, which we will get on and do. So first thing we need to do is unlock that. I'm aware that I'm getting irradiated the whole time. So that's not good. Let's keep going. Um, oh, you know what you need to do, Sev? Is you need to actually make the portable constructor. So let's grab those. Grab those. So the plant protein will be a good start. Um, could definitely do with some fibers because that would mean bandages because I could do with using another bandage or two if I get jumped by drones or anything bad like that. I dropped something there as well. I was shot by a Korak class cutler. Are you kidding me? So let's respawn at the current location. Just have a look. Holy crap. Oh my lord. So, yeah. This could be a little bit of a death loop. Um, Because I have no armor. And those are big guns. So this could be a major issue. For early start. Um, my backpack is over there. And I need my backpack because it's got my gun in it. Um, at least my health's back up. But where where's the big ship gone? Oh Christ, there's a bloody drone right there. This is not cool. This is not cool. Um, can I... Oh, another object in spawn area. Yeah, a drone, probably. Come on. Because if I stand too close, I'm going to get shot by the bloody drone. Because um, we had a really good start. I don't want to go up on it. What was that? Let's pick up plant fibers. Let's get the hell out of Dodge a second. Find somewhere safe to hunker down. See, this is where I might actually want my stuff on my bar to remain. Because... Getting shot by a ship like that on the outset can really put you in a horrible death loop which can just leave you unable to get away or do anything. Um, but that should mean I can now, if I picked up my backpack, yeah, I could probably use the portable constructor and literally get myself, let's get, um, let's get some more bandages on the go. I need as many of those as I can get. Oh god. Drone! Run! 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 I didn't put my weapon on my bar. Um, weapon on the bar, please. Weapon on the bar at number two. Oh god. He's, he's out of range, you see? And he's gonna chase me. I need to get in range of him. To get shot off. Oh god, he's gonna start shooting me. Ow, ow, ow. Don't shoot me. There we go. He's in range. I'm, I'm distinctly... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I didn't bring it down. Where'd he go? I saw him then for a second. There he is. There. There you go. Let's bring him down. Okay. Drone is down. Dunk, 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 dunk. Let's have that. Uh, put the portable constructor down. Let's get the bike on the go. Because the bike is apparently much improved. So let's see if we can get that one going to get us some mobility. In the meantime, let's put that on our bar. And put this on our bar. Um, let's eat something. Not that that's the biggest concern at the moment because. I'm probably going to die again. Um, let's pick that up. Shift F. And let's get going. 
Um, let's keep away from him. Because this is what can happen early on. That ship can be a real pain in the butt. Other things we need are one of those. Because it doesn't spawn you with a detector. Now the bike is allegedly much improved. Um, okay, at first glance I'm not feeling it. It still has the turning circle of an idiot. So we'll pick that back up. Because we can probably climb up here. But we can't seem to walk up here. Sorry, I mean ride up here. Let's get it right. And, okay, he's over there. We did manage to take that drone down, so we might be able to go towards the damaged comm station. What I could really do with finding is some bits to get myself an assault rifle or something on the go because this really this planet is super harsh the other thing I didn't think I don't think I saved myself enough plant fibers to make is a tent oh there's a resource there how do I know there's a resource there if I don't have one of these did I, did I not pick up my Oh, balls. Did I not pick up my, um, thing? I thought I picked up the, um, yeah, I did pick up the portable constructor. I thought I didn't pick up the portable constructor then. I was a little bit worried. So, silicon deposit. Not ideal. Would have liked some copper. Um, or some iron. There appears to be an iron rock right there. Oh, careful, sir. Don't break your leg. Um, might be something there. Zurax minigun drone. I think that's the one we blew up. Some more iron ore. That'll be good. Um, yeah, because we're going to need a tent, because we're going to need somewhere to sleep. I mean, you can now sleep in the escape pod. Um, for the first sort of few nights, instead of a tent, and... Your tent will become your sort of respawn point, I guess, if, um, well, I think if, uh, you aren't using the pod, you've got loads of plant fibers, so that's good. Where did that resource go? There was a resource found here somewhere. Where are you? Resource, just over there. And there is more stuff over there. And the comm station is over there. These guys are friendly even though they don't look it. So that's nothing to worry about. What I would like is, like I say, to find A, some copper. Um, B, keep away from those evil... Oh god. From those evil things. Which seem to be guarding whatever resource that is there. Um, because they're going to be trouble. And I have a shortage of bullets, I think, already. Down to 25. How, man, how many do I have in the gun? Not many. Um, so I have 10 in the gun. I have 20 left. Phew. This isn't good. Um, definitely make some bandages. Well, I don't need the bandages because I've died. I've got plenty of health. Um, let's see, let's make some energy bars, because then I can eat a couple more of these. I'm not going to bother about keeping my food super high right now, because I might get maimed again. So where was that resource? There's a resource right there. Oh, please be copper. So, I don't think I can make any guns yet. Let's have a look. I can unlock the shotgun and the assault rifle. Both have new models in the new update, which is nice. Though I can't say I've seen the shotgun model. I can't say I love it. I think I like the old shotgun model better. I know it was more old school and less futuristic, but um, yeah, I think I preferred the old one. Um, the big problem is going to be, I'm assuming, bullets take the same materials to make them they used to. Yes, they need a lot of copper. Copper, which I don't have. Uh, steel plates, mechanical components. Nope. 
are electronics and mechanical components. Nope, nope, and nope. Um, what if I did that? I can make a shotgun. I can make a shotgun. I can't make any rounds for the shotgun, but I can make a shotgun nonetheless. Let's start with the shotgun. Um, we'll grab that. Oh god. Oh, were you kidding me? Seriously? Seriously? Another drone already? I can't take down a drone right now. I don't have the bullets. Portable constructor. Did I pick up the shotgun too? What happened to the shotgun? Oh, I don't know. I might have just wasted a bunch of materials there. Damn it. I thought it finished the shotgun. What happened to the shotgun? Are you kidding? What happened to the shotgun? I don't think I can take down that drone. That drone is dead close. Really gun drone, see? Very close. Ah, oh, I can't take down. I can't get that thing and the shotgun is gone. So, there's a tip. Do not pick up your constructor while it's constructing something. Because clearly there's a bug. I would have thought it would finish the shotgun. I didn't get the materials back. And on top of that... Um, iron deposit. Not particularly useful. Okay, gonna have to keep moving here. I might be regretting making the drone presence high. Um, is the drone still pursuing me? Yes it is. And there are those things. Excellent. So this is going to be a hard ass start. Um, and radiation constant issue. So what was that over there? I'm going to be doing a bit of bouncing. Um, because it's the quickest way to get around. The drone is still gaining on me. What I need to be able to do is hide from the drone for a bit. Um, to get it to creep up on me. If the drone sort of creeps up on me, I might be able to get close enough to um, lay some shots into it. But for that, I need to make bullets. And um, bullets are definitely going to be an issue here. There's nothing nothing of use there. Um, might be able to get behind something. Let's plop the constructor back down again. And uh, stick in the plates and mechanical and the iron. Um, and see what I can make. I can't make any rounds because I still need copper. We'll put the gun on the go again. And see if we can do that. Um, drone is incoming. Where is it? The drone is here somewhere. I need to dig myself a foxhole or something. Um, let's have a quick look around. Anything? There's the milligun drone. Let's try and keep behind this to lure the drone in nice and close. We can get the drone. We need the drone within 39 meters of us to actually shoot the damn thing. So, without it being within 39 meters of us, we're not going to be able to hit it. Oh, maybe we can get underneath it here. Okay, I'm going to run away from it. And try and lure it back over. See if I can do enough damage to get it to go down to to drop out the sky come on drone come on droney poos no it, the new AI is better they've definitely upgraded the AI on it so that it's harder to get underneath it it used to be very easy to get underneath the drones this is definitely not so easy there we go drone down all right give me something decent that's not bad. Not particularly useful at the moment, but not bad at all. So that was a relative success. 
Alright. Let's see if I can pick up the shotgun this time. What I'd really like to have is some copper. I need some copper. It's all well and good picking up other things, but without copper, I've got no bullets. And without bullets, I'm kind of naffed. So let's have a look around. What do we got here? Come on, give me something useful. Give me some sort of deposit. Talon territory here, and that's over there. So we can head in that direction, I guess. I mean, ultimately, we probably need to find a slightly different biome to get uh, copper. I mean, we've got tons of food. I mean, food is not going to be an issue for us. Might be able to build the survival tent, which will be a start because at night time, at least I won't be doing a lot of recording at night time because night time is death on this planet. Um, so we will most certainly be dropping a tent down and sleeping during the night. Uh, we can eat some more of those. We'll make a tent and we'll make some more bandages, I think because we're going to need the bandages to keep our health up. Because I'd rather not use health pods at the moment unless I have to. They're more of an emergency thing, or, or that's how I see them anyway. If you need food, if you need health in emergency, you take a health pod. If you don't need it in emergency, you, you use a bandage. <sighs> but we're down to 16 rounds. And... There are raptors there. I'm sure I saw another resource somewhere. Large wreckage. There's some bits over there. None of those are resources. But I need to find some copper rocks. So this could really suck. I can't find any copper rocks. Ah, oh, come on. Go away. I don't like the raptors. The raptors are evil. It's already starting to get dark. Um, a couple of minutes away from night time. So we might have to sleep and then get to the comm station in the morning. Because we will still do the quests as I didn't complete the main quest. And on top of that, I believe there have been some quite a few significant changes to the quest. Some of the quests have been renamed um, with minor changes. Others are new altogether, I believe. So it could be quite interesting to go through the quest line again. Um, as I say, we won't be doing the Robinson's Protocol like we did last time. So that will save us some time. But we will be doing the Harder Planet Start give people an idea of what the harder planet start is like and like I say it's not so much fun well it's kind of fun in terms of that it makes the initial survival harder which I do enjoy because to me this is one of the sort of highlights of the game is the early survival um, which is where the arrow planet also offers some difficulty. It would be really tough if you could have one where it's the Arab planet with this kind of difficulty. So not only are you dealing with the Hydrone presence and all the bad guys, you're also dealing with the fact that you're chasing around looking for oxygen. We found some wreckage. Is there a cargo container here? There's normally a cargo container, anything? Nope, that's not going to work for us. Come on. Give me cargo container. No. Okay. I think I know which which one this is. Because of various wreckages. Um, it's a matter of where the cargo container is on it. Which I'm trying to remember. Not this end, clearly. It must be the other end. Oh, please be here. Come on, there's a cargo container around here somewhere, I know it. 
give us a cargo container. Give me something worthwhile. Nope, nope. Game doesn't want to play. Don't remember where it was. And need to keep moving. So we could be heading into night. Okay, so this is the damaged communication station, which you'll remember from before. Um, I have noticed that these boxes are now not factioned. So, the kind of components will take some of that. And I still have a core, which is good stuff. Um, there's another wreckage over there, which I'll probably try and explore before we hit nightfall. Wreckage. Wreckage. Any more resources? Up to level 5 already. But nowhere near enough resources to start thinking about making a hover vessel or anything like that. Great. Um, that, can, that can go in there. I don't need that. And that one is there. So, I mean, I could pick up a lot of iron ore here. That's useless. Is that the one I picked up a minute ago? I thought there were two. Yes, there is two. The other one is here. So we'll hit this onto salvage. We'll clear that out of the way and we'll see what's in this one. What's in you? Antibiotic pill. Useful. Definitely. Um, any copper? Any copper? Any copper? There's normally, around the start area, there's normally three main re the, the three main resources in nodes around the start area, so I definitely need to go back around there and look. I'm just a bit scared of that capital vessel coming along and kicking our ass. And then there's one of those things, I can't remember what the hell they are over there. I mean, I can take down this wreckage for a shed load of iron, which would definitely get us started, might even be able to get us part way towards a new hover vessel. Oh, hello. Missed that, didn't I? Oh, wrong thing. Salvage move, please. What we got here? Should be some power in there. Yep, some power. But we're rapidly running out of inventory space. So, right, let's um, whop the tent down a second. Put that down. Let's whop the tent down for nightfall. And we sleep for eight hours. We'll put the portable heater cooler down just so it's a nice temperature here. And we'll put the portable constructor down. And this will be. At, oh, at, no, no. Oh, I'm making two. Okay. Fine. It'll be useful later. And we will put this. All these bits in there for now. Get those weight off us. We definitely find uses for all this. I'm going to set this, this making some more food. I'm going to eat a couple of those. And then we'll go to bed. Um, I don't think you can make anything particularly useful yet. You can make an assault rifle now. Which will also be good. I'll take the assault rifle. Um, I'll eat some more of those. Right, sleep. Really? Sleep. Thank you. Daytime. Did not want to wake up, like, in the middle of the night. That seemed not cool at all. Right. So this is going to have to be our point of starting out by the looks of it. Damage comm station is up there, which we can go to, but I think I'm going to get jumped by a drone as soon as I do. Oh, I thought that said that improved the bike, but good god. If this is improved, I'd hate to see what got worse was. Because this is awful. Another wreckage there. Let's get the hell off this bike. 
Go away, bike. You're crap. I'm hoping that we can find some... Wow. That is... That is pretty crap. Is there nothing here? Um, I was hoping that maybe the bike was good enough that I wouldn't want a hover vessel or something like that, but I think I'm going to need some sort of early vessel or hover vessel for sure. And... That does not look like there's anything useful down here either. I'm trying to remember this one. There you are. Yep, there it is. I knew there was a container in this one. Just trying to remember. Felt like there was. And meds. I'll take it. I'll take the meds. That's nice. That's very nice. So food is definitely not an issue. Biggest issue is copper. So, I think we're going to need to... Oh, hello. Was that... No, that's an iron rock. I mean, the thing is, we, we've got access to iron. And I'm grabbing everything to try and uh, increase my level. I could have put my level progression on slow, actually. Because it'll still progress fairly fast on this planet with everything that's going on. Um, really, definitely need to find copper. So what I'm probably going to have to do is go back towards the crash site where we came down and see if I can find a copper resource and load myself up. There is our friendly neighborhood um, patrol vessel over there, which seems like not a lot of fun to hang around with. We'll grab some silicon. And come on, give me resource, resource, resource. So silicon's there. Escape pod's only 320 meters away. So, ah, there's a resource right over here. So I'm sure that's going to have to be copper. So that is, uh, that is unfortunately relatively close to that patrol vessel. So, hmm, we're going to probably wind up in a foxhole there. I mean, where is it going? Anyway, what we'll do is I'll try and go down there because I'm sure that will be copper. And I can even see a copper rock from here. Um, down at the bottom of the hill, which will be an excellent start. There's no way I'm taking down a patrol vessel, oh god, with, um, with any handguns. No, oh, broken leg. There you go. At least I got a bandage. Ow. So, with that, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. And hopefully... By next episode, I will have located the copper, which I believe is just over here, and have some basic weaponry on the go. Then we can start moving forward with the quest and try and look at getting ourselves a whatchamacallit, um, a hover vessel or a small sh ship. I would probably prefer to go for the small ship. And then we will go from there. There's the copper. Okay. With that, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time to see if we get shot down by that horrible patrol vessel. Thanks a lot.